ファミリーキャットはインディー界特有の落とし穴に落ち込んでしまったようでしたがこの度彼らはバッドガールから今まででベストの出来の3枚目のシングルを発表タイトルは Place with a Name ということになっておりますねではインタビューご覧ください We bang it down onto vinyl rather than just. We're learning as far as making records go, and we are going to make records that are going to be as good as we are live. But at the moment, we agree that some of our records haven't been quite up to our live performance. But our live performance is, of course, very, very fantastic. So. <laughs> One of the things about you playing live is that uh, you always seem in real danger of losing your front teeth with all the stage divers knocking the microphone in your face. Yeah, that's, that's always a bit.、Um, Dicey down the front because at the moment a lot of the venues we play have very low stages, and the monitors are usually up on a chair, like they are here, or、uh, a bit wobbly at the front. So people are leaping around and they jump up to the top of the stage. And the favourite trick is to, if you're going off balance in the crowd like that, you grab hold of the microphone stand to steady yourself. And you thumps into my face a bit. Are you going to take a dentist round on tour with you? Just I will. Yes, or I'll actually start handing out dentistry bills at the front of the audience. Do you feel that、um, kind of the, the momentum behind the band, which carried you through the first couple of singles, began to drop away after around the time of Remember What It Is? It actually dropped away before Remember.、Yeah. Um, after Christmas this year, we had no press.、Um, we don't know why, but we just didn't. I mean, we were voted fifth best band in the NME at Christmas, and since then, we've not been featured in that music paper or any other really. So, I mean, the single wasn't even reviewed in the NME, which we never understood why. So, we flogged all ours, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Went down to records and tapes. No,、But、we were, I think we're a classic example of a band who got a little bit, well, we got a fair amount of coverage for the first you know, month or so, two months of our career after the single came out. And, and that was really good for us because it meant we could go out and tour around the country on the strength of having a successful single. We could go out and play, and everybody could get a chance to see us. Live and to hear us, what our records are like.、Um, after sort of October last year, it was, it's been very difficult for us to get, you know,、uh, no one's, no, none of the major music papers seem very keen on featuring us、um, for one reason or another. I'm not quite、I、sure mean, what they'd be. We personally we thought that Remember was by far and away the best thing we've done so far, but none of the music papers, well, they certainly weren't knocking at our doors to do interviews, you know.、Mm. So, I mean, we don't know why, there's nothing we can do about it. Listen to Lena Cohen, for the heaven knows why. And the rain grizzles down from every velveteen sky. I mean, we've been making quite good records for a year, and we think they deserve a little bit of attention. We think that we're, we're really good live now, and we deserve attention for that. Unfortunately, we don't come from the right part of the country, and we have rather different attitudes. About、uh, what it takes to be interesting and what it takes to be、uh, an interesting you know, band and everything. So, people, I don't know, we seem to be、uh, a bit on the outside at the moment. And in our conversation, is there a heavenly sound? Heavenly sound? Heavenly sound? My favourite moment was、uh, when we headlined at Yulu. In May. And、um, we were all so frightened at that gig that we all hid in the toilet beforehand and nobody could find us to get us on stage. Cud was supporting us that night and they all hid in the toilet. We had to wait for them to come out of the toilet <laughs> before we could go in there. <laughs> That's right. And、um, I walked on stage and there were like, you know, like 750 people in there all waiting to see, see us play and I thought, That's, that's what I felt really great.、Yeah. And then they all went and hid in the toilet. And then,、uh, <laughs> yeah, we played one note and they all went to the bar.、Yeah. I don't know what about you, Kevin. I know that was、yeah, definitely one of them, the Yulu gig, because also we were like just sort of standing there playing, and the next thing one of our best friends is on stage like dancing around, and then he just、yeah. dives off. You think, God, you know, I was I know only sitting <laughs> talking to him a minute ago, and there he is, like making a fool of himself to us. But we expected when we got to that point. All our friends would be out in the bar just sitting there, you know, drinking on. Well, they used to be good, but they've sold out. And they're, <laughs> so they're, you know, they're there at the、yeah. front throwing themselves off the stage, which is really good.
Kev's mum's got a fantastic scrapbook of every single little mention of Family Cat in the press. You know? And uh, in fact, she, she gave me one of the biggest thrills as well when we were playing at Birmingham, supporting the Mighty Lemon Drops. And Kev's mum came up to me backstage and said, you know, I really, I think, Fred, the version of Gabriel's Wings on the mini RP is much better than the one on the 12-inch. <laughs> My grand oh. came up to me and said, oh, um, you must be the singer because you're the sexy one. <laughs> and, you know, she's about 85. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. She came to see us as well, and she was down the front. Yeah. So grands are welcome. Any grands out there, come along and see the family cat. Listen to Lena Cohen, though the heaven knows why. And the rain grizzles down from a great velveteen sky. It's very quiet here. Well, the clock.